Hi, welcome back to the channel everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Penrith Golf Hub. New product to review for you and an exciting one for me because it's a brand that I've never really come across before or should I say I've never really had in my hands to hit. I've heard a little bit about it. I believe it's very big in the US, not maybe not so readily available over here in Europe and it's the Tour Edge Exotics and it's the new EXS220 driver. So I've got the driver three wood and the hybrid. The fairway and the hybrid will be coming in a later video. We're going to concentrate on the driver in this particular video. Got Trackman on the floor, um, provide you with some ball flight and some data and obviously my personal feedback of this particular driver. Lots of good talking points. Very interesting to sort of hear about a diamond face. Sounds very interesting. Again, we'll talk a lot about the technology as we go through the video. Okay, so the EXS220 driver. So I'm going to jump straight into it and we'll talk about the big talking point that Torre are, are, are sort of shouting about is this diamond face. Sounds really great. And when I first heard about it, I'm thinking, oh, this is going to have some like crystal diamond sort of implanted into the face here, which is obviously going to create some hard and fast ball speed. And that is the claim. It's going to create some fast ball speed. Fortunately, there's no crystals <laughs> embedded in the club face. But what it is, is sitting behind the club face, there's 42 different diamond shapes, which are different thicknesses and scattered around the back of that club face in a sort of random order. Order, apparently um, which is creating high ball speed especially on the off centre hit so also we'll take a little look at that the other big talking point is a, is a triple carbon technology so we've got the carbon crown that we see in many other drivers now in these modern eras and um, you see that little carbon effect on the top section of the crown and we've got, got some carbon in the toe and the heel section so that three-way weight saving basically with the carbon around that sort of titanium body is allowing them to place weight more deep and back in the actual head itself so this weight screw is a nine gram screw but it is adjustable and you think you can get additional weights of like three six um, and maybe I think even 12 gram as well so you can obviously just change that swing weight and also change that um, sort of center of gravity pulling it further back obviously the more weight we've got in that back section typically more forgiving the driver is going to be okay let's get underway hit some shots and um, so first instincts putting this down by the golf ball it sits really nice. I've got this standing in, in this standard nine and a half um, degree head. There's a ten and a half available as well. Also a twelve degree in right hand. Uh, left hand is only a ten point five degree only. We have got a adjustable neck sleeve, which we'll talk a little bit about later in the video. But putting that down, it just sits a fraction closed in that standard setting for me. Just slightly toed in. That's probably the only slight negative I've got with that personally for me some of you guys you might sit there and not even notice it i just sort of see that a little bit towed in so it doesn't quite sit with me to start off with but the rest of the head is lovely it's gloss black finish we see that nice carbon on there we've got the black face um very nice sort of shape on the actual head itself okay let's get underway let's get one cracked down there does look great behind the ball black gloss top just see that little bit of that carbon that's a nice strike. Quite a nice ball flight on that as well, visually. Sounded pretty good, that, to be fair. It was a nice muted sort of sound. So that 272 carry getting out at 292, which was good. So we've got that black face as well on the, on the club head, and we've just got that small E logo in there that uh, is just basically a little bit on, of the alignment aid just on that top edge. So it's quite small, quite subtle, which I do quite like, to be honest. Okay, that was a poor swing for me. That's a bit of a bottom one up that left hand side. That sh man, that ball speed 162 it wasn't too bad. That was very low on the club face. You can see that just dropped a little bit there purely because that launch angle, that 6.6 .6 degree launch there. That's just from a very bottom strike. Bad swing on my behalf there, unfortunately. Let's try and get a better one on this one. Okay, that was a bit better, maybe a touch heel there, but that's much better on its flight. Yeah, that's better, one bit more accurate on that time. Again, 292. So just talking about the options that are available in this particular driver, we have a 9.5, a 10.5, and also 12 degree head drivers. Left hand is available 10.5 only, but we do have adjustable neck sleeve, so we can go up or down by up to two degrees. So this nine and a half I've got here, I can knock that all the way down to 7.5 if I want, but also go up to 11.5 with, with settings in between. I'll put a little graph up on here, because um, there's quite a few different settings, and it also changes the lie angle of the golf club as well. So 
in the standard setting there we've got a line angle of 57 degrees as standard uh, but that will also go all the way up to depends on which setting you put it onto but will go all the way up to 60 degree which is obviously more upright so great for you guys maybe out there who are a little bit lose the ball to the right of target for your right-handed golfers uh, a little bit of that fade maybe over over cutting too much then the, the lie angle does make a big difference i've probably done videos in the past um, sort of explaining that and showing and demonstrating that how it can help to sort of get that club face sort of squaring up a little bit more so there is those options as well That's just worked up that left hand side a little bit more there. Tends to be my slightly weaker one there. Should go a little bit further, yeah, 299. Spin dropping down a little bit of that toe strike, just moving it up that left hand side a little bit. Yeah, and again, that's up that left hand side. Okay, I'm gonna make a couple little adjustments to uh, that neck sleeve there, as I say, it just sits a little bit toe in for me. I know, you know, I'm going to sort of close the club face down, but that does tend to be my bad misses, the one up the left. So I'm going to have a little play around with this uh, neck sleeve. And we'll just see, I think I'm going to knock this down one degree. So I'm going to knock this down to 8.5. So that will put uh, 8.5 is a zero with a dash setting, which is that next one along. So this is now playing at 8.5 degrees, one down, one degree. Lie angle is only changing by half a degree there, so very minimal on what it's doing on that lie angle. But I have changed the loft by one degree. And I'm just interested to see if the club face sits different now. Yeah, okay, so definitely see that. That looks to me sitting very, very square now. So which is a bit more pleasing to my eye, because I say I don't like that one going up that left. That's a nice shot. That was a good strike. Looks to be pretty neutral on that one. 307, much better there. Good strike. It's increasing that ball speed. 166. Spin at 2000. It's a good scenario. That's where that little bit of distance comes from there now. I think straight away that just gives me that little bit of confidence that that club face, as I say, I don't like it sitting close. I feel like I react to that. Okay, that was a bit bottom, but again, that is very accurate. That won't be as long because of the strike being a little bit lower in the club face, but it is still pretty straight. 164 for that bottom strike, not bad again. So maybe just seeing, you know, that uh, diamond face technology, maybe just helping out a little bit on these slight miss hits that I'm putting on it. That was a little bit more up the right on that particular one. But I don't mind that as a miss. I prefer that much more as a miss because as you know, that right shot that, or that right miss will sort of hang stall a little bit more and won't get you in as much trouble as that one that starts to pull and overdraw a little bit of that left. Okay, and that was a little bit toe, but that hasn't turned over massively left there. In fact, that's pretty neutral. And quite a long ball, 3.10 there, you see that spin just pulls off, and that's quite a quick ball speed again, 166. So just, for, just um, so you know, this was made up for me, so we've got hazardous uh, smoke shaft here, 6.5. Standard drive length in these Tour Edge Exotics are 45 and a half inches in length. This is uh, 44 and three quarters, so it is three quarters of an inch shorter than standard. So obviously I'm going to maybe take a little bit of hit on club head speed, um, but I do like that a bit more confidence of that uh, control aspect of that slightly shorter in the shaft. Okay, let's go look at some numbers, a little bit more detail, and just have a look at those two different settings and maybe look at those dispersions as I've changed, maybe there's that little bit of that face angle. Right, okay, so we've got two uh, sort of rings running around these. So the white one was the first setting with that nine and a half, playing at nine and a half, which I said just looked a little bit sort of towed in. Then as a, a, the yellow one is more than of that adjustability um, of knocking it down 8.5, uh, 8 just more, get the club face a little bit more square for me. Got the numbers on the left-hand side with the two uh, options there. So we'll look at the 9.5 to start with. So 1.1, 1.6, 162, spun at 2.3, 263, carry 2.93 total. So some, some decent sort of numbers there. Bear in mind, I did get to see these low launches when I just get them a little bit low, a little bit heel, which tends to be my miss. Um, obviously that just kills my uh, sort of distance number a little bit in a way but obviously I did open up a little bit more of that left miss which is typically in my game as, as many of you will know for watching my videos 
um, and obviously when the club space just sits a little bit toady it's not to my liking so moving to that 8.5 definitely better looking club at address we can see i probably swung that a little bit more confidence there just gaining that half mile an hour ball uh, club head speed translated into better ball speed at 165 it's 2-2 two -two spin you can see getting that little bit more carry out of that but more importantly for me you can see one two three we're arrowed straight just that one that misses out to the right but i don't mind that one as we talked about there because that will come in and land a little bit more uh, softer in that in that landing okay everybody so there we go there's the new ex exotics exs220 driver i like that as i say it's the first time i've had tour edge products in my hand before quite impressed with that to be honest i like the look of it it does look I love that sort of blue stripe around the back with a bit of red there, that little bit of gloss. It does look pretty high quality when you sort of get it get it out of the wrapper and you look at it. It's finished off very, very well. Uh, there's obviously some different shaft options that you can go and have a little look, up, look at on their uh, website. Obviously customizable there. We have got fairway and high boot, which as I mentioned, I have got here. So those videos will be following uh, shortly. Um, but yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. It's decent, some good numbers there. I like the way it sort of looks. I like the way it sounds and feels off that club face. Good bit of adjustability, which has made a difference there. And probably just highlights the, the importance of you guys going to get fit. You know, straight away there, that looked better to me. We've seen some improvements there of the accuracy and this sort of dispersion. And on top of that, it's giving me a little bit more ball speed as well there. Obviously there's a lot more you can sort of delve into with shafts and everything like that. That's just a tiny little glimpse there, but obviously it gives you guys a uh, bit of an idea of the importance of going get fit okay post comments down below let me know your thoughts on the tour edge have you got tour edge in your bag is that a new brand to you we heard not heard of it much before i know there's quite a few of the us tour guys have got these in the bag so it is pretty massive i think in the us you'll have definitely heard of it maybe european or uh, elsewhere in the in the world you might not have come across tour edge as a brand itself but yeah i like it it's good okay but post comments down below as always if you enjoyed the video you haven't subscribed hopefully enjoying the new setup here we've got a penrith golf hub with a trackman uh, sort of data there it's i think it's a little bit more uh, improved on the visuals for you guys maybe watching again give me some feedback in the video and sorry in the description down below as always and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon